What's going on Diablo 2 fans? My name is Debrunski and today I'm going to talk about the Diablo 2 plugin mod. Now I honestly get asked this question on every live stream and any Diablo 2 uh, YouTube video that I ever make and it's something like what is the plugin mod or what special server are you playing on or how do you have ladder only room words on single player? Uh, how do you have that crazy extra stash space? Things like that guys. I honestly get asked that question every day. So I wanted to dedicate an entire video to explaining what the Diablo 2 plugin mod is in its entirety. Uh, one quick little disclaimer though before we jump into this video, I'm not going to cover how to install the Diablo 2 plugin mod. I've left a link in the description from an awesome video that was put up by Mr. Lom SC. He goes through step by step how to set up your plugin mod, how to download the older D2 uh, ISO files, how to set up your D2SC mod manager, and all that. So make sure you guys check out that video if you want to know how to install Pluggy, but let's jump in. So what is the Pluggy mod? Pluggy mod is essentially a Diablo 2 single player mod that is designed to simulate Battle.net without altering any of the original gameplay of Diablo 2. Monster stats, skills, maps, items and drop rates remain the same as vanilla Diablo 2. Just a quick FYI guys, this is a single player only mod that does not work on Battle.net. With that being said, I've broken down the Diablo 2 plug mods into three different categories. The first being quality of life changes to improve the gameplay of Diablo 2. They made quite a few changes and to be honest I find it hard to want to go back to playing vanilla Diablo 2. The first and probably most notable change would be the increased stash and the shared stash that you can use to mule items between characters. There's literally infinite storage using the plugin mod. Well actually there's only 4,294,000 plus stash pages and shared stash pages. But let's be honest nobody in their right mind is going to use up all this inventory. The shared stash also allows you to transfer items between different characters with ease. Another really cool feature is the extra character information pages. These pages automatically keep track of any important information that you need to know for your character. Things like faster cast rate, faster hit recovery, your damage reduction, your character's resistances, etc. are always kept up to date for you. This is an amazing feature for somebody like me who has a dislike for math. Respecking is another great quality of life change that Pluggy introduced. You can now alter the distribution of your attribute points and skill points with the simple click of a button instead of farming tokens of absolution. It's a great mod that allows you to respec to different characters quickly to keep your Diablo 2 play more refreshing. Updates to the cow level. You can now open the cow portal infinite amount of times even if you have killed the cow king. I'm sure everyone can relate to a frustrating time when the cow king was killed in their own game in Battle.net and then losing the ability to open the cow level on that character. Well, that's not an issue using the pluggy mod. The slash player's difficulty command is the last pluggy feature that I will cover within this broad topic. You can type slash players 1 to 8 to change the difficulty at any time just like regular single player Diablo 2. However, Pluggy added a feature which automatically executes this difficulty change at the start of every game so you don't have to manually enter it at the beginning of each game. This is an amazing feature for spamming areas over and over again on a higher player's difficulty setting. Lower crew restaurants would be an excellent example of where you would want to keep the player's difficulty on a high setting for repetitive new games. The second broad feature I'll cover is ladder only availability. The plugin mod gives you access to all the really cool ladder only room words that aren't normally available to people who are playing single player Diablo 2. I mean those really powerful ladder only room words like fortitude, grief and infinity can now be made on single player. Additionally, Powerful starter rumors like Insight and Spirit can also be made on your single player characters. There is a way of enabling ladder only rumors on single player without using the Pluggy mod, but Pluggy comes with so many other additional features, why would you want to play vanilla Diablo 2? I'm sure you guys can probably tell by now that I am a little biased and prefer to use the Pluggy mod. The last category I want to cover is the world events that Pluggy Mod enables for single player. The first world event is the quest to kill Uber Diablo, also known as the Diablo clone event. Pluggy simulates Diablo clone on Battle.net 
using a randomized SLJ counter that appears as soon as you reach Hell difficulty. The SLJ counter will continue to count up and Pluggy will randomly decide a time for Diablo to walk the Earth. You can customize the rate at which Diablo Cone spawns within the Pluggy files, but I would recommend leaving the files alone in order to make it as close to a simulation to Battleland as possible. Another really cool feature that Pluggy added is that it only takes one Stone of Jordan soul at immersion to spawn D-Clone. This is a really cool feature within the Pluggy mod, and it helps capture the excitement of D-Clone spawning on Battle.net within a single player experience. The second world event is the Pandemonium event for farming a Hellfire Torch. Unfortunately, the Pluggy mod is not able to entirely duplicate the Hellfire Torch event on Battle.net, but they got it right for the most part. Farming keys of terror, hate, and destruction off of the Countess, the Summoner, and Neelathak remains the same. The boss fights against Uber Duriel, Uber Israel, and Lilith remains largely the same as well. The real difference is that the final battle against Uber Diablo, Uber Mephisto, and Uber Bale does not feature the multi-immune spawnable minions. The AI behavior is also a little bit different on Pluggy in comparison to the real Ubers on Battle.net. The creator of Pluggy mods still did a good job of emulating the experience to farm a Hellfire Torch on single player though. It's another unique Battle.net experience that was not available previously on single player. Okay guys, so I think that that covers pretty well all the major talking points that I wanted to discuss about the Pluggy mod. I'm sure I might have missed one or two small things, but I mean, I didn't want to make a 20 minute video going over every th single detail line by line by line. But uh, anyways guys, I hope this answers a lot of people's questions about what the Pluggy mod is. Uh, I'm sure I'll still get questions, uh, that's totally fine, but uh, I like making videos like this when I get a whole lot of the same types of questions. Uh, it's good for you guys, I think, but uh, if you guys could give me a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, I'd also appreciate it if you'd like to sub to my YouTube channel. I try and post a new Diablo 2 video every week, sorry, and I like try and live stream as well. And I've also left a link in the description for my Discord. Uh, if you guys want to join the Discord, that would be great. I post my live streaming schedule there. We got a really wicked uh, growing Diablo 2 community. Uh, so I'd love for you guys to be a part of it. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty well going to cover everything for today. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on my next YouTube video or my next YouTube stream.